here we are. We're up for another adventure. We've got the tarp up. I've got the uh, my logo up here. Went and brought the fire pit. Got my bag of stuff. Gonna work on the chair. So there's my chair. Looks pretty cozy. Just needs one more rung at the bottom right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a, a little wood shed right here for wood. In case I ever come up here and I have extra wood, I can store it right in there and I'll keep it dry. So I have these logs with these notches in them. See the notch? What I'm going to do is put it right in here like that. And then this one also has a notch. And that's going to go over here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some verticals across here and tie these in a little bit. And then put those pine boughs, stack them. And then we'll start a fire. Make some coffee. Get some hot dogs on there. I got some uh, Hoffman, Hoffman, Hoffman or Kaufman. I don't, can't remember. So I finished the little area for dry wood. I keep it a little dry. Even put the camera underneath there, like this. Film that way. All right, I'm gonna go get some wood and start a fire. How do you guys like my chair?
dryer. Okay. Too small fire. There's plenty more here for when I want if I want to come back. There's some nice stuff over there too. That whole tree is nice. I'm sure it's been dead for a while. And it's up off the ground. This is good too right here. I mentioned the uh, Alaskan chainsaw mill last week and I said spalted maple but they're really all spalted oak is what is uh, the dead trees up here. You can see there's one right there, there's one, see it, here's one right here, there's one over there, one over there, one right there, one right there, two down over there. One right there. So you can see that the gypsy moths killed a lot of trees up here. So, something to consider. I like batoning with a machete better. It's better. Oh, I've got my knife. Hold on.
nice oak. That's a little icy right there. A little icy. Could be danger. Could be danger. That's why you want to cut flat ends straight across so you can baton better. Not right here. Let's see how she works. Yeah, not bad, eh? Okay. Oh, I make lots of pieces. All right. So there's our wood load out right there. We'll get a fire going. Shalama kazoo. that fire burn a little bit. Here's the wood we have for today, right here. Put that over over here. Put it behind the fire. Within reach of the fire. There. Nice little pile. Okay, now I'm um, gonna start preparing to make uh, some coffee and get the hot dogs out. Electric blue snow peak titanium spork. Showed you this coffee last week. Uh, Metagilia Doro Espresso Instant Coffee. I don't know if it's from uh, Spain or Italy. Mediglia Doro. I was going to say Italy. Okay, some of that. Swiss Miss. Where's that drip coming from? Bad news, there's like a drip coming down right from here into my drink and onto my food. Move the fire back. 
This is where the danger comes in. <laughs> this is where the danger comes in. It's a chipmunk that lives here, so he's, you know he's peeing on this, so I don't want it dripping on my food. Myself. Don't do this. Ah. Okay. Okay. Get her. Here's my fire pit. I got the hot dogs on. I got hot cocoa with coffee on. I'm using my lid to hold my hot dog fork. There you go. I'm gonna let these slow cook. What could possibly go wrong? It's a close quarter area right here. We've got all this stuff right in, right in close quarters. So, I mean, it makes it kind of dangerous because you've got, you know, hot coffee here. Water's dripping off up here. You don't want that to drip in your coffee because there's a chipmunk that lives in this log right here. That's our little spot. Come here and relax, enjoy some bushcraft iron our adventure. We'll be ready when the snow piles up. That's too hot to drink. In one of my future videos, I'm going to do the steak challenge. I guess uh, originally it was presented by a Haze Outdoor and then a lot of the bushcraft guys that have uh, YouTube channels have been doing it. I was lucky enough to have uh, Dave Pearson with uh, Really Big Monkey. He offered to have people do a steak challenge and tag people and I was tagged and uh, I really appreciate that he also subscribed to my channel which is awesome he's a uh, number 47 number 47 so I'm really excited about that and I don't have the social media um, and outlet to, to, to drive a lot of uh, subscriptions it's just gonna go come through organic searches and shares and over time i'm not in any hurry uh i think that people will enjoy the messages that i give and the content that i have when the juice starts to explode out of them you know they're almost done
right, now I'll try not to get any grease on me. The top one. Need some more help. Not bad. I kind of like my uh, beef ballpark franks. I haven't had a hot dog better than that. The beef ones. Fire warms you three times. Once when you cut the wood. Once when you build the fire. And once when you eat the flaming hot hot dog down your throat and it burns your stomach. The flavor in these dogs is insane. They might be better than the ball than the uh, beef ballpark franks. They're really good. The chair. Nice. Nice fire. Got the banner, coffee. We uh, ate a nice backrest on the chair today. It's a good day. Just gonna sit here and relax and enjoy some coffee and watch the sunset. Live well and be happy. <laughs>